If you walk into a reptile store or expo, you don't always know what you're going to see, but one thing is for sure, most likely you will see a number of bearded dragons. Bearded dragons are one of the most popular pet reptiles because they are so easy to find, but are they good pets in general, or is there another species that deserves the popularity instead? My name is Hunter Hauk, this here is my beautiful bearded dragon, River, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my opinion on whether or not bearded dragons make good pets. Let's get into it. River is going to hang out back there for a little bit because she's a little crazy. Today I'll be rating bearded dragons in 5 categories and giving them a score out of 5, and then at the end giving them an overall score. These categories are easiness to obtain, easiness of care, cost of care, hardiness, and temperament. Now let's be clear, I love bearded dragons. River was my absolute dream animal, but are they the right pet for you? That's what really matters. Please know that just because an animal were to receive, say, a 5 out of 5, that doesn't mean that it's the right pet for you. It all totally depends on what you are looking for in your new reptile friend. Also excuse River's tail, she's going into shed, and I think she's gonna go into shed on her back here in a few, maybe a week or a couple of days, I'm not quite sure, but yeah. That's why she's a little more dull than usual. So let's get into category number one, which is easiness to obtain. Now there are hundreds of breeders of bearded dragons in the United States and probably thousands throughout the world, so you're not gonna have trouble finding someone who breeds bearded dragons to get one from. Now, once you have found your breeder, there are probably gonna be many morphs to choose from because there are hundreds of traits that bearded dragons can carry as far as colors and pattern go. River here, her morph is an orange, hypomelanistic, blue bar, 100% het translucent bearded dragon. So she's got a lot of genetics going on, but you can pick from all sorts of morphs. If orange isn't your thing, there's white, there's different scale types, all sorts of stuff. So yeah, you have a lot to choose from. Get off of the computer. Oh, she sees the picture of herself, I think. Maybe she doesn't like that. Now, price-wise, bearded dragons are pretty affordable animals if you choose one that's maybe a normal morph. I've seen them range from $25 to $2,500, and occasionally you'll see a $25,000 bearded dragon, so you can really pay whatever you're looking to spend on a bearded dragon. Because of all of this, bearded dragons get a score of 5 out of 5. They are easy to obtain. Now category number two is gonna be ease of care, and this one, they're not gonna get a five out of five, let's just say that. Compared to something like a tegu, bearded dragons are not very hard to care for, but especially for a beginner reptile keeper, they're certainly not the easiest either. I'd say they're definitely moderate. Bearded dragons require a super diverse diet because they are omnivores. You're going to have to buy them veggies and bugs, so that's something that you're going to have to keep in mind if you're thinking about getting a bearded dragon. Now, because of how much they eat, they poop, and when they poop, it is big, and it happens often, and it smells bad, so keep that in mind. That's seriously something that I wish someone would have told me before I got River here. I love her to death, but oh my gosh, bearded dragon poop does not smell good. Bearded dragons also have very specific needs when it comes to lighting. They have to have the right UVB or else they will get sick. So they're not the hardest, which would be a zero, but they're not the easiest, which would be a five. So they're gonna get a two and a half out of five, which is right down the middle. The third category that we're going to be looking at today is the cost to care for a bearded dragon. I just want to say if you have never owned a reptile before, you need to know that caring for any reptile can be expensive. Pet companies love to throw the word reptile onto something and then mark it up by 20 or 30 or even more percent because they can. 
Now, specifically bearded dragons, they require a really large enclosure. When they're adults, people recommend at least a 4 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot or 120 gallon enclosure. They also require very specific UVB, which can get expensive, as well as very specific heat bulbs, which those too can get expensive. Bearded dragons eat a lot of insects, so something like a leopard gecko, their food alone isn't going to be that expensive, but a bearded dragon might be. So as far as rating, the cost to care for a bearded dragon with 5 being the least expensive and 1 being the most expensive, bearded dragons get a 3 out of 5. Before we move on to category number 4, I just want to say that I do have a Patreon page. So for as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and get exclusive behind the scenes reptile content and all sorts of other awesome perks. So click up here or the link in the description and go check it out. Plus I am getting a new pet and I haven't posted it anywhere but Patreon. So definitely go check out the Patreon so you can find out what it is. Now moving on to category number four, which is hardiness. If you properly care for your bearded dragon, they are very hardy animals, but if you are not properly caring for your bearded dragon, such as not giving them the right lighting, they can develop metabolic bone disease. And she wants to climb onto my shirt. River, that hurts. Just like with any reptile, bearded dragons, if they do get sick, require vet care pretty quickly. So definitely make sure that that's something that you are prepared for when it comes to hardiness because they are hardy animals. But yeah, when they do get sick, you're gonna need to take them to the vet. As far as reptiles go, bearded dragons are pretty hardy, so they're going to get a 4 out of 5 for hardiness. Now our final category is temperament. Bearded dragons are calm animals which are easy to tame. Now as babies and juveniles, they also have a lot of movement that they want to do. They constantly want to be moving, and River here is not quite full grown, and as you can see, she too constantly wants to be moving. I'd say that the temperament of a bearded dragon is really what draws me and a lot of people to them. It's my favorite part of owning a bearded dragon because she, you can tell she enjoys being out of her enclosure and handled. Now like reptiles they can't exactly love you but you can tell she likes it when I take her out of her tank because when I walk by she'll like signal to me that she wants to be out of her enclosure so their temperament is just amazing and when they want to be held they do enjoy it and then when they want to not be held they will run away from you, but enjoy it. As far as reptiles go, unless you're looking for something as big as a tegu, it's hard to find a friendlier pet than a bearded dragon. So for that, bearded dragons are getting a 4.8 out of 5 for temperament. So I added all of those up and divided by the number of points, and we got a 3.8, which is actually lower than I was expecting, but it does make sense for bearded dragons overall. I think that they are, I don't want to say overrated because they're amazing animals, but I think that whenever someone asks, what reptile should I get? You shouldn't just say a bearded dragon because they are not going to be right for everyone. If you think that they are right for you, go get a bearded dragon because it will be an awesome pet. But if you think, huh, maybe I should look into different options, then definitely look into different options because you are going to want an animal that you will be 100% a good fit for. So if you think that all of those things sound good and okay to you, go for it. Because overall, bearded dragons are incredible pets. They're beautiful, they're tame. Well, most of the time, they sometimes cannot be, but they have relatively easy diets once you figure it out. It's just a lot of work to chop all their veggies and feed them and stuff. But Again, bearded dragons are incredible pets for the right person. Thank you all once again so much for watching. If you want to see River and all of my reptiles, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. If you want to support my content and help me make more of these videos, please head to shop.hunterhack.com and check out my line of awesome reptile clothing and products. Now, do you think that bearded dragons make great pets? Definitely comment your thoughts below and we can have a conversation about that. Once again, my name is Hunter Hauk. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.